Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lotus Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of October the 15th through to the 21st. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Libra. First up, we have the Four of Wands in the reverse position, followed then by the Four of Cups upright. And next, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, followed by Major Arcana, the Hierophant in reverse. And next, we have the King of Wands upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Libra, for your overall energy, have that of the Four of Wands in the reverse position. The Four of Wands upright is a really beautiful card in the Minor Arcana. It's one of the best cards in the Minor Arcana. It represents uh, victory, a wonderful homecoming. This can represent completion of projects, completion of relationships, that type of thing. When it's in reverse, however, this could represent going back to the drawing board. Whereas maybe you thought something was, or maybe something did come to its completion, but so, there was a glitch. There was a fly in the ointment. There's a problem. And sometimes this card can represent uh, going back to the Three of Wands where we have to revise our plan. Um, it doesn't mean we scrap the plan altogether. We're just revising something in order to bring it back to its upright position. It's such a good card that even reverse, it still has a really good uh, energy to it. Um, this can also sometimes represent where something in the home is a little bit unsettling um, because it is known as a home card as well. So it could be sometimes this card will come up when um, there's something a little bit upsetting going on in the home and it's sort of thrown us a little bit off balance. Uh, coming right off the hop, you have the energies of the Four of Cups in the upright position. The Four of Cups upright, this is a little bit of emotional apathy, uh, sometimes a disconnect from our emotions, uh, just sort of sitting on the sidelines, mm, trying not to feel. Sometimes we, uh, this card will come up when we have other obligations, other things on our mind, and we don't have um, the time or the space to deal with emotional things right now. We have to just sort of put everything aside in order to deal with whatever it is we have to deal with. For some of you, it could be, like I said, an upset in the home. Maybe you have to focus in on that or focus in on revising a plan uh, that you've been working on. So you, you just kind of disconnected from your emotions at the time, at the moment. And for others of you, it could just be feeling emotionally ho-hum. We all get into those funks sometimes and it's paired up with the queen of wands in the reverse position for some of you maybe that is the reason um the, the queen of wands is a court card and uh the, as a court card this card could represent a fire sign which is aries leo sagittarius sun moon arising male or female now this person in the upright this is a person who takes action is a real go-getter and a mover and a shaker when she's in reverse the queen of wands uh can represent a lack of action maybe that's why you're feeling emotionally sort of disconnect maybe this person is not taking action if this is a love interest perhaps this person is not uh responding or not willing to move forward or things like that perhaps for some of you you were planning on maybe moving in with this person and this person changed their mind or things like that or you were moving ahead with a business partner uh, perhaps fire sign and this person um, all of a sudden decided not to work with you anymore or has you know taken their leave that kind of thing and uh, that could be why you're sort of in that emotionally um, ho-hum situation and moving on towards the weekend you have the energies of the Hierophant Major Arcana in reverse position the Hierophant Upright represents uh, commitments, and um, when it's in the reverse position, this can represent coming out of a commitment. Uh, again, this is why I'm thinking that perhaps this person um, that you were moving ahead with, uh, uh, in some respect, maybe you were, like I said, building a business or a home or something with this person, and now they have uh, broken their commitment. They're no longer, uh, or you could have broken the commitment with this person, decided not to go forward and not to go ahead with it. And the last card you have up to close out your read is the King of, of Wands in the upright position. Again, this is fire energy, that of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. This person could be a new person that comes in that does take action. 
So the, the king of uh, wands being here at the end of the read, it could be that for some of you, whatever project or relationship situation you were working on that sort of fell by the wayside and the commitment ended, it looks like there's a new person that comes in, could be the person who picks up the slack for this other person who is no longer uh, taking action or moving towards. If it's playing out on the relationship front this could be a brand new suitor coming towards you this person is actually taking action so interesting reading here libra i hope this helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe otherwise i will see you next week bye bye for now